chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a highly requested video by you guys. Um, as always, I popped out all my videos and I say if you have requested videos, you can always leave it on the comment section below. But the way you can reach me more is actually sending me a message through Snapchat. And I'm going to leave my Snapchat right here so you guys can follow me on Snapchat. And that's pretty much where I connect with you guys and you guys can talk to me and ask me questions and tell me what you guys want to see next. So you guys requested me to do a hair care video. Like what I use to take care of my hair, what kind of cut do I have, um, what extensions do I use, um, what is the name of my cut and how do I um, maintain my hair so shiny and so, and so looking so healthy. So I have to tell you right guys, right off the bat. My hair has gone through so much, it's not even funny. Like right now, I feel as my hair is at its best, to be honest, than it was before. Because um, when I had it longer, like when I actually had long hair that was not extensions, it was all my hair. I actually kept curling it so, so much that it started breaking and like top parts of my hair, like right here, this is supposed to be long, it was actually like this short. Like, no lie. The reason why is because I kept curling it and I wanted the curl looks and I wanted the messy waves and all that. And I kind of started actually breaking my hair off. So I was like, oh my God, I really need to lay off of it. And I actually need to lay off extensions for a while because um, clip-ons can actually damage your hair. If you use it a lot, to be honest. Anything in extremes will damage anything, honestly. So I feel as if my hair care routine is very comp it's very easy it's um it's it's quite easy it's quite affordable I'm pretty sure anybody can get their hands on the products there's not a lot of products to be honest it's just pretty much the way you take care of your hair like you'll be surprised my hair is very chemically damaged like I dye my I started now dyeing my hair every three to five months I used to dye it every month. And I used to do highlights, I used to do so much, and just the fact that I would go through a curling wand system every single week, and almost every day I would wake up and try to curl my hair again because the curls fell. So I come from a, I want to just let you guys know my background of my hair. Uh, excuse my stuffiness, I have, I am so stuffy, it's not even funny. <laughs> um, so I want to give you guys a little more, a little info of my hair. Years and years ago, when I was in high school, my hair was all the way to my waist area right here. Like, it was so long and it was natural. Like, it was my hair. I had no accessory or anything like that. I really just, it was all straight. Like, my hair was all straight. I wanted a cut of like a V cut and a sort of like uh, layers in the front because everybody in school had that same cut. And I had one color. I had a very, um, it was a very, I would say dark brown. It was in black, it was dark brown. And I wanted highlights, but I wanted to do something outside the outside the box. So I actually told the lady to give me um, white white highlights, black highlights, and red highlights. Like that's what I wanted on my hair. So I went to the salon, and this lady killed my hair. I was 15 years old. I'm 28 today, and I have to say I have been struggling with my hair since that day. There is such things as bad hands. That's why I don't trust a lot of people with my hair. I don't trust anybody with my hair, to be honest. My hair did not grow for years. Um, okay, so after that, I just decided to just go with the flow. It kind of started growing by the vitamins. It started growing the way I ate my um, food that I ate. Um, pretty much, it started growing on itself. I didn't cut it. I didn't let anybody touch it. I didn't dye it every month. I kind of just went black and decided to just let my hair stay like that. Um, the last time I decided to get a cut, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get a cut because I want, I, you know, like my ends are starting to look very fried and very ugly. So let me just get a cut. I went and got a cut and oh my God, why did I do it? The guy who cut my hair, I don't know if he was drunk or something, he left one side longer than the other one and if you guys follow me here on my on my YouTube for a while, you guys know what I'm talking about. I used to come here in the videos and say, I'm sorry, will you excuse the fact that my hair, one side is longer than the other one? Can you guys excuse that? I'm sorry, I can't do nothing. Yes, so I said, you know what, that's it. I'm not doing this anymore. Then I came across a friend of mine, which she is a goddess when it comes to cutting hair. She has 
the hands where you can trust your hair to. Like, yes, boo-boo. So she cut my hair, and the first cut that I got was a... I chopped... It was a long bob. That's what I got. And I was really happy with it, and my hair started growing. And then I wanted something more dramatic, so I kind of got a short bob. It's actually starting to grow. Um, it wasn't this long. It was actually up here. So it's grown quite some inches. I'm going to show you. So the hair right here is now, it was actually up here. I cut it really short and I left this long in the front. So that's the cut that I have. I don't know the name of it. I know it's just a, it's a, it's a short bob with long, um, with long sides, I will say. I don't know. I just showed her the picture and she got it on spot. Um, I dye my hair every three to five months, like I said, and I use a box dye. I don't use a hair dye dye because I don't want to keep damaging my hair. So I use a, a box dye and the one that has worked magics for me is the Garnier Nutrice. I'm going to pop it right here so you guys can see. The reason why is because it has avocado oils and it has some other oils in there that helps my hair and it looks so amazing. So I love this one right here. So now let's get into the products that I use. No science. They're not all of that, honestly. My shampoos and conditioners forever have, have been the L'Oreal Total Advanced Total Repair 5 um, conditioner and shampoo. These are my babies, honestly. Um, these here are restoring conditioner, restoring um, shampoo. It says it's rebuilt fiber, strength, vitality, silkiness, and shine. And it's, uh, it's for damaged, overworked hair. This I have used for a period, I would say, of two, maybe three years. I've been using the shampoos and conditioners, and I don't change them for anything. I love the shampoos and conditioners. They leave my hair like I got out of the salon, and I got a 10-hour treatment on my hair. No joke. This shampoos and conditioners are hands down the best when it comes for overworked, damaged hair, of course, drugstore prices. Then I use this thing here. I've been using it for about a year or so. This is the Moroccan uh, Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. I highly recommend you using a mask on your skin, on your hair, at least once a week. I would say. Um, because that is actually going to help bring nutrients to your hair. It's actually going to help um, lock in moisture. It is actually going to help repair any damages you have on your hair. I feel as if your hair is damaged, um, you need to get rid of what's really damaged and start over. And that is one of the reasons why I decided to cut my hair. My hair was really damaged on the end, so I decided to cut that off and start new. That is my recommendation to you. I mean, if you have very long hair, then start with treatments, start using shampoos and conditioners that are going to work for your damaged hair, and start using intense uh, mask on your skin, on your hair, and see if you see a difference. If not, then I highly recommend you starting from scratch. I know it's kind of hard. You would say, damn, man. But I did it, and I don't regret it. Honestly, my hair is looking a lot healthier day by day, and I'm excited with the decisions I've made. So this here, um, I use this as for medium to thick dry hair. So pretty much as your hair improves, you don't, you don't have to use it as often. But I highly recommend getting this. I'm going to link an information of where you can buy this down below. I highly, highly, highly recommend this one right here. Now another trick that I do, and some people find it disgusting, but honestly, do you boo-boo. Do what suits you best. I don't, sh I don't wash my hair at least every five to six days. <gasps> Oh God, get over it. I really don't because washing your hair constantly is going to make it dry. It's going to dry out your hair and it's going to dry out and it's going to make your hair start breaking and it's going to start your hair falling. I do have managed my hair for quite some years. So I know what has worked for me and that's what I'm speaking to you on. And that's, on the, that's the basis I'm speaking to you on. So I don't wash my hair often. Um, my hair is dry so I don't want to keep drying it. In between washes, dry shampoo. I use the one that I've been using the most and I've been loving is the BioSilk Silk Therapy. This one right here is amazeballs. It smells really, really good. It's very lightweight and it doesn't give me that powdery residue. Some of the other dry shampoos does. So pretty much the next day you have to wash it because you, you know, I just feel like ugh, something is in there. This just refreshes your hair like no tomorrow. Then I also use this. I actually have one left that I ran out of, but I actually have one left that I want to show you. 
This here I have used a couple of times. I haven't used a lot, but I've used a couple of times and I have been loving it. And this is the Eva NYC, as you guys can see. Let me see, it's focusing, there we go. So this is the Eva NYC Skip the Spa Thermal Hair Mask. Uh, infused with 38 active plants and oils and extras, including argan oil for unparalleled moisture, nutrition, and repair. Remove the thermal hair wrap and apply over freshly washed towel dry hair and you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes uh, and then I don't leave it for so long to be honest I'm very very impatient just so you know but at least I leave it for 10 minutes and then it says rich uh, rinse with warm water now one trick that I like to do and I've read all over it to help um, stimulate circulation and also help grow of the hair is at the end of washing your hair with dry with conditioner shampoo and whatever you're doing it make sure you rinse with cold water it does something to your hair that it will help the circulation and it definitely will help grow your hair. That's why when you go and do your hair at salons, most of the time they use kind of cold water instead of warm or hot water. That's the reason why. So I highly recommend at the end of you doing all your treatments in the shower, rinse with cold water. So the other thing when I come out of the shower and I style my hair, I use the L'Oreal Extraordinaire Extraordinary Extraordinary Oil. This is the Lustrous Oil Serum. This is a serum and a little bit goes a long way. I tell you, I've bought this a long time ago and I have just used a little bit. And this here is instant shine. It's lightweight, non-greasy, so it's not going to make your hair look overly greasy. And I try to stay away from this area. Honestly, I try to stay away from this area. I just don't like to apply it up the ends of my hair and just a little bit, honestly. A little bit goes a long way. Now, something that I have been trying recently and is the Shea Moisture uh, Moisture. Uh, Superfruit Complex 21 Renewal System is this little shampoo right here that I got in my Ipsy bag. This here is with Morocco with Marula Oil and Biotin. This is a shampoo. Now the reason why I started to use this is because it says this is biotin. I'm trying to grow out my hair because I'm trying to do a project on my hair that I will definitely record it and once I'm done and I get to the point where I want to be, I will definitely put it on YouTube. So anything with biotin is going to help grow your hair. Um, use use vitamins for your hair. Anything that has, like I said, biotin is gonna help work your um work your hair. Anything that has B complex vitamins, B complex vitamins, um, is definitely gonna help grow your hair. Anything there actually are vitamins out there that are called for that. I'm gonna link them down below, but always consult with your doctor before you take any sort of vitamins so that they don't conflict with any other pills that you're taking. And the iron that I've been using, the flat iron I've been using, is from them. And oh, child. It just one swipe across my hair and flip flat. I don't have to go in over and over and over and over again. Like seriously, I don't have to it. I absolutely love it because I just kind of let my hair air dry and then in the next morning, all I do is this to my hair and that's it. And these shampoos work magic honestly so that's also what has helped me so I think this is all that I wanted to share with you guys as you guys can see I don't have a secret I don't have 500 masks to use on my hair I what I show you is what I use and I don't try to go overboard because I don't want to um I don't want to overdraw my hair to be honest my hair is very greasy on this area so I tend to stay away from this area when I'm applying moisturizer products so I try to just use it at least from here down and try to avoid my greasy area and um yeah that's all that i wanted to share with you guys as you guys can see it's not a big deal i am going to leave this products down below and uh, i hope you guys liked it I, I don't know if you guys were expecting for more you guys were probably expecting that i have a secret to grow in my hair i really don't so i hope you guys liked this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so and if you don't follow me on my social media sites they're all down below you guys all know the da 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 drill about this. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Mwah! Un besote. Be blessed precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye!